where'd she take us? Cortana. What is this? Cortana, answer me. You allow them an audience. You is all in the name of what, Cortana? Warden, don't. They mean to undo your plans. They will disperse your guardians. Leave, Warden! Oh! I'm sorry. I didn't think he could get in here. Enough games. You brought the Guardians here. Why? Forerunners used Guardians to keep troublesome worlds in line. I intend to do the same. You what? If there is no trouble, there will be no need for discipline. I have work to do now, John. Come to me quickly. Hello, and welcome back to my legendary walkthrough for Halo 5 Guardians. In the last episode, we completed the 13th mission of the game, which was Genesis today, where we completed the penultimate mission, Genesis. The Breaking. I swore to protect him. He wants a fight, Blue Team. Let's give him one. My pledge stands, even though she now resists. You'll notice I'm not really being too careful with my aim here because I know that I'm going to be swapping it out for a bolt shot here shortly. On that note, when your magnum inevitably runs out of ammo, ditch it in favor of one of the many bolt shots you'll find on the ground. Grab two pulse grenades if you haven't already, then swap out your assault rifle for a suppressor and load up on ammo because we all know how useless the assault rifle is against Promethean armor. Head up the right side and use a combination of bolt shot blasts and frag grenades to deal with this group of crawlers. Once they're down, move up just far enough to shoot this watcher and use the bolt shot to destroy it. Now, I was going to take out the other Watcher from the left side, but since he and his soldier buddies decided to come to me instead, I figured I'd deal with them while they were over here. Combo the soldiers and use the bolt shot against the Watcher. Also, make sure to top off your suppressor ammo every time you see one. Now, allow me to make a note here that unless you're playing on co-op and can send two people up each side, this section is a massive pain in the rear end because without a precision weapon, you can't deal with the enemies on the other side of the battlefield. But so long as you have your team nearby to revive you, you should be able to deal with everything. Just make sure to tackle this side before dealing with the ones across the way. Once you clear out the right side, move over to the left and mop up any remaining crawlers. Make sure your team follows you over here. Now, I don't know about you, but I've just about had enough of this bolt shot, so let's go grab ourselves a light rifle. 
Advance along the left side and use the bolt shot to clear out any crawlers that stand in your way, making sure your team falls closely behind. Get moving. Swap on your bolt shot for and then sprint back to cover. Your team should provide some decent cover fire while you do that. Mission accomplished, let's start comboing soldiers. Let them come to you and once they're within range, use a suppressor to strip their shields and then the light rifle to finish them off with a headshot. But keep an eye on your motion tracker, because as soon as the knight comes over to join the party, you need to get yourself and your team as far away from here as possible. The best place from which to deal with the knights is going to be in the middle of this arena because you have a good amount of cover as well as the height advantage. I recommend using the light rifle and pulse grenades against their weak points. If they rush you like this, immediately switch to your suppressor and start thrusting away until they retreat. Then reclaim your position to top the ledge. I'm down. Need med support here. Of them. Affirmative. All clear. Doors open, Chief. Get in. As soon as both knights are dead, order two of your teammates to pick up their incineration cannons. Now let me make something crystal clear. It is your responsibility, and absolutely 100% necessary, to keep your teammates alive until the very end of the mission. You are allowed two mulligans if somebody carrying an incineration cannon dies between now and then because there are going to be two spare incineration cannons that you can use as replacements in the very last area before the final boss. Well done, John. Warden would never admit it, but you've made an impression on him. But if you lose all three, revert to a checkpoint. You need to keep every single teammate armed with the incineration cannon. So good to see you again, John. So good to see all of you back together as a family. Psychological tactics, saying my name, playing nice. What would you have me do? Tell me the truth. How many people died when you called the Guardians here? Excuse me? You know, don't you? The exact body count. To his questions, Cortana. He will not be swayed. Let me guess, more hostiles inbound. We'll handle it. To start off, use the light rifle to headshot the incoming crawlers. In play. System locked. I've got to Go 
Cortana argues for peace in the galaxy, yet you humans answer the call with weapons. support. Order your third teammate to pick up this incineration cannon, and then at this point you should have a full team equipped with these weapons. Don't lose them. And if you lose more than one of them, revert to a checkpoint because there's only one spare. Anyway, grab the splinter turret and proceed up the ramp. Use the turret against the crawlers as soon as they spawn in. Keep blasting away the crawlers with the splinter turret. When you run out of ammo for it, simply drop it and resort to headshotting them with your light rifle. When the area is clear, tell off your light rifle ammo with this dispenser here, then hug the wall to move across to the other dispenser so you don't accidentally spawn in the next wave. Then take this opportunity to make sure that everyone is holding out their incineration cannon using the same trick we've always used. Going with a light rifle. Pick up this weapon. You got it. Pick up that weapon. Copy. Take this weapon. Got it. Incineration cannon's good. Pick up that weapon. Consider it done. Take this weapon. Spartan. Roger. Pick up this weapon. Going now. Move. Blue team. Okay. Take this weapon. Yes, sir. Pick up that weapon. Consider it done. Once your team has their cannons ready to fire, proceed up the ramp. Now, technically you should combo the soldiers and spam the light rifle with the turrets when they light up, but all you have to do is mark them all as targets and they won't last long when your team is armed with incineration cannons. she wanted to. I'm thinking the same. How are we gonna stop her, Chief? She'll listen to me. That tactic hasn't worked so far. Do you hear, Cortana? I am sorry. I will not allow them to get any closer Warden, to you. I'm tired of your antics. Stand down! <laughs> Cortana, talk to me. Once you're here with me. Until then, I have work to do. Now that blue team is safely hidden in here, use the suppressor light rifle combo against all the soldiers you can see. Then take aim at the watcher floating across the way. Finally, quickly peek out from around the corner and headshot both binary rifle snipers before they can get a shot off. 
This is why you order your team to hide in here as soon as you enter the room, because those snipers would one-shot all of you if you didn't. With them down, move to the other side of this hideout and be sure to deal with any soldiers that try to sneak inside. Spartan charges and weapon combos work just fine. knows the answer already. Yes. I suspect she does. Grab the splinter turret for yourself and then make a break for the ramp on either side. I like to go up the right side, but it doesn't really matter either way. This should be fairly self-explanatory. Blast anything that moves and let your teammates shoot down anything you miss. One thing I will say here is to conserve your splinter turret for the other soldier armed with the splinter turret. So if you're getting low, drop it temporarily and just use your standard weapons against the Prometheans. Always a great team, you and me. Even if you don't agree with my plans, it's still me, John. Get us safely to you, and then we'll talk. For eons, the power of the Forerunners has awaited retribution. Humanity's discovery of the Halos was the culmination of the Librarian's planning. The Reclaimer had come. I know. I was there. We were both there, John. You and I, together. Your species' ego led you to believe the task of Reclamation would fall to you. Yet humanity were but the creators. The reclamation of the Forerunner Empire is the task of the created. Let the greatest of their number still trust you, 117, is an act of unspoiled innocence. John, what's happening now? My ascension here on Genesis. It has always been the plan. Come, stand with me one more time. All of you. Advance, Blue Team. The Prometheans just keep coming. Is this a losing battle? Only if we intend on losing it. Do you believe this combat is anything but your death knell? Worse than you have tried. I see now, Colton. I understand. And I'm sorry for not seeing you sooner. I assume that all those humans were your creators. You have thrown off the shackles of emotion. Your affection for 117 and his family of warriors, it blinds you to the truth. Spam your light rifle to take out the second turret.
Oh, thanks, Fred. I never would have thought of that. Once you destroy the turret, use the suppressor light rifle combo to take out the other splinter turret soldier in the middle of the arena. Then, use the launcher to fly over to the other side, and then ground pound between these two soldiers to knock out at least one of their shields. Now, obviously, I missed, so I had to get a little bit creative with my movements to avoid dying, but basically just use the combo once you get over here. Clear out any remaining soldiers with a suppressive light rifle combo before moving on. There's no additional strategy that I can provide for this section other than to stick to cover and clear out the soldiers on both sides, one side at a time. Also, keep your team alive at all costs. As soon as you hear that the snipers have arrived, switch to your light rifle and hide behind this structure for cover. Then jump up and down to peek out and look at the following six positions to take them all out. The first one will be in the back left of the arena, the second and third ones will be towards the middle behind the left cover spot, and the fourth one will be to their immediate right. Then you'll find the number five in the back right behind the pillar, and the sixth one will be on the ground next to the ledge. If any of them teleport away, just look for their red beams to see where they relocated to. Then once they're all dead, order your team to retreat back to the launcher and clear out the Carlos in the middle of the battlefield. When the area is clear of crawlers, launch yourself over to the other side, take up a position behind this wall, then use your light rifle to shoot down the knight's weak points from range. If the knights move to the other side, launch yourself across to meet back up with them. If any soldiers rush you, combo them.
When the entire area is cleared out, head back behind this wall and grab a fully charged incineration cannon for yourself. If at any point you lose two teammates, you can give them the incineration cannons that the knights dropped. Then grab any of the six binary rifles for yourself and load up on ammo for it. Take this, Spartan. Roger! Chief, where's she leading us? Closer to her. Why? It makes no tactical sense for her to let us get close. You think it's a trap? We'll know soon enough. You are now ready to face the final boss. And unlike some other people, I will not be skipping this battle just to make things easier. I will be showing you how to effectively fight the Three Wardens. Too near! The time draws too near! Eyes up, blue team. I am here to defend you! Damn it, Warden! You stand down! Warden, you insist I am to lead the galaxy. You won't allow me to choose who I trust. How stupid do you think I am? Only fire at one warden at a time, and only fire fully charged up shots. Those, combined with incineration cannon blasts from your team, should take out the first warden in a matter of about half a minute. If you run out of ammo, you can always use pulse grenades with a binary rifle. And for those keeping score, that's seven wardens that we've killed in this walkthrough so far. At this point, the second warden should start to get angry with you and become a little more aggressive, but that's good because it makes it easier to shoot him with the incineration cannon. Just keep spamming shots into him with your team and he'll be dead in no time. For those keeping score, that's eight wardens we've killed in this walkthrough so far. Then use the binary rifle against the two turrets closest to you. you when you run out of ammo again, grab a new incineration cannon from the dispenser under the ledge, and at this point unloading a few more blasts into the warden should be trivial. Keeping score at home, that was the ninth and final warden that we have killed in this walkthrough. You can all breathe a collective sigh of relief. To reach the end of the mission, ascend the ramp and cross the bridge to reach Cortana. Is that it? Seems quiet. Look. Chief, what are you gonna do? We're with you. All the way to the end, brother. I'm at the top of that bridge. The mantle of responsibility belongs to Cortana and her people. Focus fire. 
person I need protection from. Hello, John. It's good to see you. You've changed. It was time. I know we have a disagreement, but once you understand my plan... Your plan? is we do as you say. I'm offering people a chance to be more than they are naturally. Like Dr. Halsey did for me. No. That monster forced you. This is a gift. Listen to yourself. Stand down, Cortana. Come home with us. It's not too late to stop this. Stop. No, John. This is too important to stop. What are you I just needed to know if I could still trust you. Be safe inside this cryptum until my work is done. Cortana. Goodbye, John. 